fluff because you have to like start it before you have the benefits of it and often times you get brain fog and you're like oh my god oh my gosh how am I gonna do this how like it's so weird like and doctors are not really gonna help me do it because they, they want you to like do those at their place you know at their office and it's just like oh my gosh this is so complicated help so I'm gonna try and so I just went with Promo Life, and then later on, when I was poor, I also bought a, a generator from uh, Synergy or Ultra Pure Ozone. That one was fine, but I really, when I had more money later, I went back to Promo Life because um, I'd actually lost the original Promo Life generator in the, in the course of having mold poisoning, so I had to get another Promo Life generator. Um, uh, they have a good warranty, um, and they have really good customer service, and powerful machines, and, and they're just, they're a pretty good balance of uh, quality to cost, and, um, so what I have is, I'll oh, show you, it's the, the dual cell generator. The times when I've used ozone and it's actually really helped me, I've had this dual cell generator. Um, I think it's more powerful than the other one I had from Synergy. And if you have a little bit of extra money to get the dual cell one, I think it's better because suppose you want to do ozone saunas, uh, it's much better for this. You want really high power for that. And suppose you end up needing higher power as time goes on, it's nice to have the extra power option. I ended up using really high power because my ozone tolerance went up when I got on. I do the carnivore diet kind of the way that Paul Saladino, you know, not entirely that I I do have vegetables and spices and things, but my, my diet is mainly based on animal products, and I do not have any, um, what's it called, uh, vegetable oils or any, any, any olive oil or any of that, so it made my cells a lot more ozone tolerant, so I do, I had to kind of up my ozone power, so it's nice to have that option. So that's kind of what my ozone is based around, is that Permalife O3 Elite dual cell. Probably the single cell will be fine. They make one that's like a mini generator. I don't think that's strong enough. Um, I'm not sure I would think on that being strong enough. But yeah, so you got, you got to base the package around that, and then you need an oxygen source, and... If you're just trying to get started cheaply, you can go to a welding supply and purchase an oxygen tank there, but then you're going to need also a pediatric flow regulator to go on that, and you're going to have to figure out how to put that on. I didn't have someone else do it for me, it's just a friend who happened to know how. But, and then you have to also like make some reason why you're buying it. So I used to say that my boyfriend needed oxygen for his welding in case they asked me what well, details about it and I had no answers for it because you can't tell them it's for medical means or they won't give it to you. You have to have a prescription for I had a bit of a uh, technical problem. I know so so I had a bit of a technical problem um, with my camera but my husband fixed it by having me take the battery out and put it back in so it started working out. But anyway, um, for the oxygen concentrator that's something you can go cheap on and it doesn't really matter. Everflow is a good brand. Often you can find them used or refurbished on Craigslist. Like if an elderly person dies, and they have a concentrator left, or uh, some people just collect and refurb them. Uh, that's how I got this one. They also sell them on Permalife or refurb ones. Um, refurb is fine. They last a long time. So I've had this one like five years, six years. Um, ever I don't know. I have Everflow. So then, you gotta have this tubing to go from the oxygen concentrator to the ozone generator. So it can be plastic, because there's no ozone that's gonna be in this tube. So you can purchase that from whoever makes your generator. And then you need silicone tubing to go from the generator to you, or to wherever you're using the ozone. So that's that kind of like cloudy looking tubing. You have to either replace it or like the end of it gets kind of corroded sometimes. You have to cut it, make a fresh end. So then, you know, it's got a little thing on the generator. 
pretzel, you put it in your rectum and you try to hold it there for a few minutes at least. But, you know, I, ideally 10 minutes or 30 minutes or something like that. Um, it can really give a lot of irritation and like cramping and stuff, so I don't really do that anymore. Um, I do mostly vaginal insufficiencies. The different ways that you put it in your body will have different effects. Vaginal insufficiencies are good for targeting your lymphatic system. And then the ear is good for just helping with your brain and any ear infections or uh, jaw. I had a lot, a lot of Bartonella die off on my ears, honestly, when I started on biofilm treatment. I was like, wow, like, it was just Bartonella living in my ears, my eustachian tubes. So it was nice using the ear ozone then. But yeah, anything else to help people get started? I would say just, uh, they got a good return policy at Permalife. So I would say just, if you can, they also have, um, I believe, sezzle or different methods for breaking up the cost. So if you can, I think just if you can get some people to help you pay for it or just whatever, just just get the equipment and save all the boxes. Take every you know whatever. Take this with a grain of salt. But what I what I would do is this is kind of what I did personally too. Just buy it. Just kind of like. Even call them because they will actually give you some customer support. Typically, Toby there is very nice, and you can be like, "Listen, I've got Lyme. I can't concentrate. Just walk me through this. Purchase the stuff. Get it. They might even get on the phone with you to help you set it up. Just go easy on yourself. It really is complicated setting up something with this weird. Um, it's daunting, you know, setting it up at home. But once you get it set up, it's like your ticket to oxygen, immunity feeling amazing and it's made just such a huge difference for me. Um, so my story is I did typical Lyme treatment for a few years, you know, antibiotics, antibiotic therapy, and intramuscular antibiotics. And then um, my family uh, somewhat cut me off and then I had to do something to treat myself without much money so I did ozone treated self-treated with ozone for a lot of years. I was able to work and I, I didn't have complete symptom resolution. It wasn't like perfect, but I got by and I survived. So, and then now I'm back on traditional treatment with antibiotics plus ozone is going so much better this time. I feel mostly amazing. If I ever don't feel good, it's mostly because my immune system is way too jacked up. I do not really have a lot of problems with like toxic heresy anymore. I get on antibiotics, you know, that kind of thing where you get like super tired and gross and yucky and you just, you know, I don't get that anymore. Just for a couple days, if at all, you know, kind of, I, I can just use some extra ozone to blow through it. So, and I have good energy. I have really good energy. I don't sleep very much either since using a lot of, starting to get on a lot of ozone. I only need about six, six and a half hours of sleep. I'll, I'll typically wake up before my alarm and, you know, Everything's going well with my health. Um, so, so yeah, um, so it's just an incredible treatment and anything else about how it affects me. It definitely, for me, seems to be synergistic with uh, antibiotics. I know people are like, oh, can you use it with antibiotics? Um, in my experience, yes, it's completely fine <coughs> to use it with antibiotics. Something else you should realize is if you don't breathe it, it can give you asthma almost, um, lung inflammation. So what I do is I put a fan blowing directly on me, which gets very cold in the winter. <laughs> but um, I have a fan right there. It just blows like straight up my face. And it just gets, because um, once the ozone gets like a little bit away from me, it'll sort of like dissipate. It'll react with the air and stuff. It'll go away soon. So it just, as long as you just just I want to give a pep talk because I know it's really daunting so just assuming that you're going to try this um, find at least the money for the first payment if they're if you're going to do like a split of the payments or just you know, get the money somehow and then what you can do is call them and make sure that you're getting all of the right adapters that's really what can trip you up is if you don't have the right adapters like if screws in and um, a lot of the stuff they're moving to now is all lure lock so you want to make sure you have all the right adapters these are lure lock um, onto, the, onto the machine is 
myself. Some of their old stuff was it's just like a push in adapter, but anyway. <coughs> just call them and walk through it, make sure you have everything. They offer a package, like an ozone package, but it includes a lot of stuff I don't think you need. Um, you don't need a humidifier, the ozone, you don't need a um, syringe, so I'm just sure gonna put it in your mouth or something. I don't know, I don't know how to syringe. Also, they sell this like fancy vaginal insufflation device, which I actually tried. I don't really like it. Yeah, I just prefer putting a catheter in and just letting the um, those are just kind of escape naturally. So, call them. You know, use their customer service heavily. Make sure you have all the equipment and um, maybe get help setting it up, or get them on the phone with Promo Life to set it up and just you know, get that going. Then you can look up um, dosages online for like what numbers to set it on, how long to use it, and stuff like that. And just start slow and frequent is what I would do. Because um, every time you use ozone, it sort of boosts you and clears you out a little bit. Gives you a little bit of mental clarity, a little bit of oxygen, a little bit of detox help. But it can also stimulate some die-off. So in the beginning, I think it's good to do small doses frequently so that if you start feeling bad, you just get back on it and feel a little better. And, and each time you're on it, you're not doing too much die-off. You know, you're just doing a little change, a little, little. And then, you know, just listen to your body. And sometimes you'll have cravings when you first get on it because um, your body is doing so much detox, so much... Um, and detox takes chemicals I mean, in your body, it takes, you know, um, molecules. So I ended up often having a lot of cravings for nuts and cysteine and kind of minerals like manganese and, and things like that and aluminum. And so just kind of eat whatever you need to eat. You might have to eat more. It might be, um, it's a lot for your body to go through, is it? You know, when you get stimulated to do all this change in detox. Um, I would say take videos of yourself as you, if you can, because I, I would see my videos even a few weeks into it and I was like, wow, I look so much healthier, like the spirit of illness is coming off of me. If anybody has seen my old videos, my mom used to say there was a spirit of illness, her friends used to say that about me 